Hello there. Uh, no, oh, I'm not trying to be Irish. That's weird. Um, okay, so uh, I blamed Chris for something yesterday, and it was completely and utterly wrong. So, um, yeah, no, no Khan anymore. So, what have I been doing? Um, well, I wanted to show you this quick. Uh, well, I'll show you it be easier to, to show you it than this. I've disabled the terrorist firing here. Let's just full screen that. Switch on debugging. So you see this guy can see me. Uh, I probably should look at his perception instead. Um, so green sphere means that you can see me. But notice, ooh, grey spheres as well. That means he can hear me. Hooray. Um, same thing for this guy. He should have, I switched to his perception. So he can't see me because he's looking away. But, ooh, look. He can hear me. Or he will be able to once I've added some reaction to it. So I've been fixing up the perception system. Uh, one of the things that's been a problem with it is that the the um, characters, these terrorists, were sensing their own footsteps, which wasn't ideal. And that's to do with the fact that it had cached the team, identifi um, team identifier. It had cached it when he created the character, and we set the team identifier later when we um, after the spawn. So. There was some values being out of date there. So now these guys can hear things, and obviously one of the things I've got to do is tune when it's valuable, or when it's viable that they hear you. So things like, you know, how far away should you be, um, should they be able to hear you and stuff like that. So that's um, that's an interesting one, and there's a few other senses going in there now, which is things like you know if they see a dead body, they'll sense that. Um, so that should be a lot um, healthier in terms of making sure that they can sense the world around them, because one of the things obviously you've seen is that they can't really do that um, currently. So yeah, watch for that stuff fairly soon. Um, probably, well, we'll see. We'll see when we get into the build. So that's that one. I'll show you the working version after I've hooked it up later on, and um, I'll cut this video so you can see the, the actual working reactions to it as well. Oh, look, and there's my screen forgetting to be color again. It's very weird. Okay, I shall uh, cut this video shortly, and I'll start on the next bit when we're ready uh, so we're a little bit later on into uh, developing this thing and I've just got one guy killed the other guys off there's some inside the buildings but forget about those so now these guys can hear and what I'm tr testing out now is just um, how they form in terms of like coming after you and that kind of thing. So as long as this guy perceives me or has perceived me reasonably recently, he'll probably come after me. I'm just testing. Uh, this is how painful testing is. I'm testing what happens when he does forget me. So if you look at the threat thing in the blackboard list, that's whether he knows I'm still his threat. So if I keep breaking line of sight and not making too much noise, he should eventually give up and go back to his patrol. I'm actually inside his audio perception range so I should probably break contact a bit further but you'll see that threat thing in the blackboard go back to zero hopefully there you go and so now he's got no threat anymore he's going to go back to patrolling 
but it could also like quiet me as soon as I move. Please. Oh god. There's still a lot of work to do on this, um, but yeah, this is how you test it. You run around a level trying to break sight. So you can see that that green sphere thing there is his last line of sight to us. So he's going to get try and get a path somewhere towards here. Or he should have done. No, he's not. I think there's a problem with the pathing around here. Maybe the nav mesh isn't um, set up quite right in that place so he can't get a path and just decides uh, not to do it. So let's see if I can get him to come over to the rocks. So I'm going to... Anybody outside his visual perception range? Nope. So now I've broken line of sight to him. Good. Mind you, he's not got me as a threat, so... He's gone back to patrolling, hasn't he? You can see that the footsteps, when he's not pathfinding around, you can see the footsteps on the line of sight stuff. It does make a lot of difference when you can't sneak upon them. Or well, hopefully you can't sneak upon them. Um, one thing I did notice is that there's some problems with the um, sensory system because invisible meshes like spawn volumes were blocking the perception. So it was looking like it couldn't see you when it could, which is very frustrating. So there you go, that's uh, another part of it. I'll show you a, a little bit more polished version later on, I think. Um, yeah, it's fun testing it, but it does take a lot of time. And I've probably missed a lot of edge cases where you should remember you and doesn't and that kind of thing. So I'll probably go and redo a lot of this stuff once I'm reasonably happy with it working and, and actually make it a bit better code-wise. So there you go. More stuff soon. Oh, he spotted me again. Oh, plus the guys in the buildings can spot you for him as that spot me for him as well. So this guy here often gets a spot on because um, he's looking that way generally. So uh, yeah, they do share perceptions a little bit, which makes it a little bit harder. Anyway, you'll see uh, what happens in the next version. I'll make them so they can fire again. Obviously, I'm not. I need to sort of test this stuff out just to make sure that the guy can you know, actually move all right and what have you. So, yeah. That was about... How was he going there? Anywho, yeah, I'll show you more later.